Okay, this is a Kellogg Community College Physical Therapist Assistant Program. I'm going to show a screening manual muscle test. This one is going to be specifically for ambulation, so we're only testing the muscles that she's going to need in order to be able to use crutches. This particular patient, we're going to say, has a long leg cast on her right leg, so I'm going to be testing both of her arms, but I'm only going to be testing her left leg in this instance. And what we're doing is we're seeing if she's going to be able to get up into the parallel bars or with ancillary crutches. So those are the muscles we're testing for. We're not doing a graded test right now. We're just doing a quick screening to see if she's strong enough to hold her body weight up um, and to, to be able to use those pieces of equipment. So hi patient, how are you today? Good. Good. My name is BJ, I'm from Physical Therapy, and we're gonna get you up in these parallel bars in just a few minutes. And uh, in order to make sure that you're gonna be safe, I'm gonna test some of your muscles to make sure that you're able to do that safely. Okay, so the first one I'm going to test is your latissimus dorsi, and that's in the back of your body. And what that does is that allows you, once you have your weight on your arms, it pulls you through this way and allows you to bring your body forward. Okay? It also helps with lifting your hip up. It's called hip hiking. Um, and for you, um, it'll be more important to be able to pull your body weight through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my arm underneath your arm, and I'm supporting her forearm here. I'm making sure her body, her arm is down next to her body where it's going to be for using the crutches. Okay? I don't want to test her way up here because that's not going to be the functional use area. Okay? So she's right down here. I'm underneath her forearm. My hand is behind on the posterior side of the lower part of the humerus. Okay? And I want you just to hold right there. I'm feeling for any um, crepitus in this area. I'm not pushing here. I'm just feeling for crepitus. Okay, so I'm going to try to pull your arm this way. You hold still and don't let me pull, okay? And here we go. Hold, 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 hold. And relax. Good. I'm holding at least three to five seconds, and I'm going to make sure I lock my wheels since it started to move a little bit on us there. Okay, right away I'm going to go over and do the opposite arm so I can get a good comparison. In the clinic, once you get good at this, you may be able to do that whole side and then go to the other side. But while you're learning, we want you to do right away, go to the other side and do the comparison. So the same thing here, go under the forearm, put it right down on your side. Patient, I want you to hold right there. Don't let me pull forward. And hold, 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 and relax. Um, right after that one, I can go directly into the AD ductors of the shoulder. They're going to help you squeeze in and hold your crutches into your side. I'm going to use almost the same hand hold. Only this time, instead of having the posterior pressure on the, the bottom part of the humerus, the distal humerus, I'm going to be on the medial aspect. So I'm still going to come in. I'm going to still have her arm at her side. This time, I'm trying to pull her out this way. She's trying to hold her arm in close to her body. Okay, go ahead and relax your forearm here. Okay, and try to hold right there. Ready? And hold, 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 and relax. Now notice as I'm doing that, I'm not using my arm this way. I'm leaning back with my body. Use your body as much as you can to help protect your own um, muscles. Okay, so then I'm going to go over and compare to this side. If the armrest is in the way, you can just take it right off. Relax there. Ready? And hold right there. Ready? Hold it in. Oops, hold there. Hold, hold, hold. And relax. Beautiful. Okay, um, so we did the extensors of the shoulder, we've done the AD ductors of the shoulder. Now we're going to do what are your triceps, the muscles that extend your elbows. These are really important because that's what's going to take the weight um, when you're bringing your strong leg forward. So that's how you're going to hold the weight onto your crutches. Okay, so for this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold at the joint that's moving. Your other hand is always going to be at the, the joint that you're testing. That happens to be the elbow this time. Um, and what I want you to do is I'm going to have her arm almost all the way straight, but not quite, because again, that's the functional movement that we're looking for, down almost straight. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push her up into uh, elbow flexion. You're going to try to hold right there. Don't let me, mix, don't let me bend your arm. Ready? And hold, 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 and relax. Beautiful. On this side, I'm going to use my body mechanics a little better this time. Um, you saw over there, so okay. And hold right there. Hold, 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 
beautiful and relaxed. So again, I can just lean into it with my body rather than using so much of my arm that way. The fourth one I'm going to do for her upper extremities are the finger flexors. She needs to be able to grasp the hand grips of the crutches. So what I'm going to have you do is squeeze my fingers. To do this, rather than just having your fingers next to each other, that hurts when your knuckles are pushed together. If you cross your fingers, it's going to be a lot more comfortable. So patient, go ahead and grasp and squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze harder, harder, harder. Keep squeezing and relax. Good. And again, I'm looking for symmetry. Does she have um, the same strength on each side? And is it going to be enough strength to hold the, the crutch handles? Okay, so everything looks good on the upper extremities. Now I'm going to go down to the lower extremities. And again, in this case, she has a long leg cast on. So I'm not going to do any testing on that leg. We're saying there's a fracture in the femur. Um, something like that. So that long leg cast, we're not going to test that side. It's non-weight bearing. Okay, so I'm going to take this uh, leg rest off. So I'm just going to put your leg over to the side. Get that right out of the way. A good place to put the foot rest is just underneath so you don't have to worry about where it is. Okay, so patient, this time um, I want to test your extensor muscles here. You've probably heard of gluteus maximus before. Those muscles, what they do is as you're coming up to standing position, as they tighten, it helps straighten up your hip. So it helps get you up into the standing position. Once you're there, it helps you maintain it. Plus, when you're walking, once you're in this position, that muscle, when it works, it pulls you forward and helps propel you. Okay, so that muscle is really important for walking as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reach my hands underneath your leg. I'm going to lift up and I'm going to hold, and this time you're going to push down. All the others you held while I pulled. This time I'm going to hold and you're going to push down. Okay? Um, the chair may tip just a little bit. That's okay if that happens. I have you. You're not going to fall backward or anything. It just might tip a little bit. That's normal. <coughs> when you're doing this one, make sure you're right up close. You almost want to straddle her knee. If you're too far back here, then you have to bend like this and use your back. We don't want you using your back. So straddle her knee. Coming close. Okay, and push down, push, 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 and relax, beautiful. Okay, so again, I didn't have to use anything but my quads and my glutes in order to do that holding. All right, um, to do the rest of these, I'm going to use good body mechanics and get my stool here. Um, if you have a little bit shorter patient, you may have to have the patient scooch out a little bit. Um, patient, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to test your quads. Your quadricep muscle kind of comes across here, and it helps straighten the knee out. That helps helps you get into the standing position, plus it helps maintain your knee into a straight position when you're bearing weight. Okay. So to do this one, um, if I just left her in the chair that uh, upholstery gives too much, and you're not going to get a good reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put your knee on top of my knee. Okay, warm the patient before you do that. Okay. And um, my other hand, again, is going to be on the knee or the joint that I'm testing. So this hand will just be resting here to feel for any crepitus. Okay, um, then I'm going to have her almost in the straight position. Not quite. You don't want her to lock out into a straight position. Okay, and this time I'm going to have you hold, and I'm going to try to bend your knee. Don't let me bend your knee. You ready? Okay, hold, 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 and relax. Good. And again, you notice I'm leaning on it. I'm not just pushing with my arm. I'm using my body weight to do that. Okay, is everything comfortable so far? Mm -hmm. okay. So we did the hip muscle, the gluteus maximus. We've done the quadriceps, which are the knee extensors. Now we're going to test at her ankle. Um, as we're doing ambulation, there's a couple of things that need to happen. One thing that needs to happen is as you bring your, your foot, foot forward, you need to be able to lift your toes up enough so that they don't drag along the way. Okay, so we're going to test the dorsiflexors to see if she's able to hold her toes up during ambulation. The other thing that happens is the plantar flexors, the gastric nemius on the back. Um, as you get into this position where you're kind of dorsiflexed, okay, in order to move forward, as you point your toes, that propels your body forward. Okay, so that's another important muscle for ambulation. Okay, so I'm going to get my knee back under yours here. And with this one, I can support her leg like this, and that frees up my hands to do any work that I need to. Is that comfortable? Yeah. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you hold your foot up into this position. I'm going to try to push you down that way. Okay. 
One hand is going to be at the joint that I'm testing again. Again, I'm just feeling for crepitus or any, any grating feelings. Um, and then my other hand is going to be way up here on the dorsi, or on, excuse me, on the dorsum of her foot. If you're out here on the toes, then you're testing more the toe extensors rather than the dorsiflexors. So make sure you're well up onto the dorsi, um, dorsal surface of the foot, okay? So I'll try to hold right there and hold, 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 hold. Oh, she's having a hard time. Okay, let's try it again, make sure she understood. So I want you to try to hold it right there, okay? Hold, 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 hold. Okay, she's having a really hard time holding it. So what would happen in that case, good job patient. What would happen in that case is we would have to maybe put a, some kind of a um, brace or a dorsiflexion assist on the patient in order to keep her toes up. So I just found during my screening here that she might trip um, because she has weak dorsiflexors. So make sure you really are feeling for things like that along the way. Okay, the last one we're going to test is are the gastric nemius muscles. Um, they're the ones that plantar flex the foot, in other words point the toes. So you're going to use the same position that you used for range of motion when you were doing the stretching. Only this time, um, instead of having your hand on the forefoot here, again, you're just going to be feeling at the joint. So you want to be right onto the joint area. My other hand is going to cup the back of the calcaneus, the heel, and then I'm going to use my forearm to push in this direction. I'm going to try to hold. Patient, you're going to try to point your toes. Okay? This is a really strong muscle. There's a good chance that I'm going to lose this battle with this patient who really does have strong um, plantar flexors. Okay, go ahead and push, push. Push, keep pushing really hard, really hard, really hard, and relax. Good job, okay? So again, I don't, it's good that I lost. That means you're nice and strong, okay? So we've tested four muscles on the lower extremity, four muscles on the upper extremities. That's a good way to check when you're done to make sure that you've covered everything. Um, the plantar flexors, dorsiflexors of the ankle, the extensors of the knee, the extensors of the hip, upper extremity, we did the hyperextension, um, the latissimus dorsi, we did the AD ductors, we did the extensors of the elbow, and we did the finger flexors. So make sure you cover all eight of those during your test. Anything that I missed? Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.